Auger bearing replacement. Today, on Pellet Tech Talk. One, replacement auger bearings. Either the top, the bottom, or both. Depending on which bearings need replacing. Two, a set of Allen wrenches. You will need both a four millimeters and a five millimeters to loosen and remove the auger system. Three, a set of snap ring or needle nose pliers. And four, some lubricant such as graphite powder or white lithium grease. This is optional, but we recommend it. At this time, ensure that the hopper is empty. So that when the auger is removed, pellets will not spill out into the internals of the stove. Also, remove power to the unit. Either by unplugging the power cord, or flipping the toggle switch at the back. To access the auger bearings, you need to remove both the auger motor assembly, and the auger shaft. Refer to our auger troubleshooting video for removal instructions. Links will be in the description. Special note. Take consideration as you are removing the auger bit, as the top auger bearing may fall down during the step. Now, you can identify and access the bottom bearing, in the bottom, round plate. Using your snap ring pliers, pull the two rings towards each other, and pull the ring free of the assembly. You should now be able to freely pull out the old bearing for replacement. This is a good time to apply your lubricant. Simply apply it liberally, around all sides of the bearings, before placing them inside the assembly. Special note, if the top bearing did not fall down during the removal process, you can use a long, hook tool to pry it out. Usually, this top bearing stays good for longer, because it is farther away from the heat source, as well as not having any weight pressed down on it, like with the lower bearing. Therefore, we recommend, just spraying a lubricant up into the top of the auger housing, and the top of the shaft where the bearing sits, and then continue with the reassembly. Once the bottom bearing has been replaced and lubricated, use the pliers to replace the snap ring. Continue reassembling the auger shaft. If the top bearing came free, simply place it on the top of the auger shaft, and insert into place. If the top bearing stayed in place, just ensure that the top of the auger shaft is inserted into the center of the top bearing. Lastly, ensure that the auger bit spins freely when reassembled. Before you secure the auger motor back into place. And that's it. You're all set. Thanks for watching. Until next time. On Pellet Tech Talk.